What's going on guys? Jordan the Wolf here. I'm proud to present my first ever DBZ What If video. And for this video I want to go over the key star of this What If being Krillin. Krillin is the bald monk of the DBZ crew and is the best friend of Goku. Now over the years I kind of felt he's been underrated and I felt that he rarely was able to put up much of a fight anymore. His role diminishing and being sidelined in the majority of the arcs following on becoming just a side cast. However I feel this does not befit the bald monk. And yes, he does not have access to Super Saiyan or God Key. I felt in this what if, I wanted to give him access to a form that's simple, practical, and that he can truly can learn if given some time. That being Master Roshi's buff form, which in the original canon has shown to be a great help to the master and could really benefit the bald monk and being versatile and being more of an aid in battle. Now I know the big question is when does he learn the form and how and what motivates him to get it. Well I feel that it should happen between the, the five year time skip between the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z for one main reason. Motivations with Ma Jr. aka Piccolo Jr. and Goku after his fight in the 23rd martial arts tournament. So after his fight with Piccolo and after Goku and Chi Chi get married. Krillin would, of course, like in the series, main canon, he would venture off to Kame House and go train with Master Roshi. Now, unlike the original five years where there it was a time of peace, there wasn't really much tr to do for training, just more casual and just self-improvement, I felt that in this timeline, he would have more motivation to actually try to aspire and improve himself far greater than the, he did in the original canon. As first, to catch up with his rival Goku, and second, to ultimately defeat Piccolo Jr., now, in saying this, I know there will be a big issue that will arise, as in the multiplier. I would estimate the multiplier to be around 1.6, in the into up to the range of 2.0, up to a two times multiplier. Now, I know some may see that as a way larger multiplier than it should be, but I feel that over time and refinement of the form over time, like how they would a Super Saiyan form or any other form. I felt that it can greatly be increased and worked upon. This would not be the only thing Krillin would learn throughout the five years, after all five years of actually dedicated training. He would likely learn upon some of, of Roshi's other techniques, such as the Thunder Shock Surprise. Now, another big thing that people are wanting to know, because if Krillin is putting way harder training into this than the original canon, where does he stack up now? Where does Roshi stack up now? Because after five years of more determined training, what would this lead to? In my opinion, and yes, this could be wrong, this could be higher, this could be lower. I felt that Roshi would greatly thrive and benefit off this training after five years, improving himself. Somewhere closer, raising his base power level, almost near 200, if not 200. Krillin, on the other hand, who started off at a base of 206 in the original canon, I could definitely see reaching more of the levels of Tian Shinhan, being at 250, maybe even reaching 260. With this being said, I will say the initial multiplier of the buff form will stay at 1.6 and over time will be improved onto a 2 times. But for now, after the 5 years, it's a 1.6. And the reunion begins just like in canon. Roshi, Krillin, Bulma, Gohan, and Goku all meet up at Comet House. And of course, the arrival of Raditz. The interactions will start mostly like canon, and despite Krillin being quite stronger than original, he would still be smacked by Raditz aside. Granted, he would not be permanently knocked out. Instead, he would help Goku bolster a counterattack against the Saiyan. However, they would be overwhelmed and beaten down by Raditz, who would, like a cannon, take Gohan, and Piccolo would come to the Kame house. However, unlike the original, Krillin would actually tag along with Goku, holding onto him by the hands as Goku took off on the Nimbus. Soon after, all three heroes would arrive at the wasteland where Gohan was taken by Raditz. Krillin, Piccolo, and Goku would all face off against the Tyrant. As they squared up, he scanned each of their powers, however they all were suppressed at first, until Piccolo and Goku had taken off their weights. With Piccolo at 408 and Goku at 416, Krillin being at a base of 260 was trying his best to keep up with the two warriors as they squared off against Raditz. Only then, after some time, realizing he was having a hard time to catch up, he had no choice but to transform, showing off his new buff state for the first time to the other warriors. At a 1.6 multiplier, from 260, he reached the same power as Goku at 416. 
Whoa, Krillin! Goku would say. Heh, I had to keep up with you somehow, Goku. Krill Krillin would smirk as he transformed. He would then focus on Raditz as they engage him on a three-on-one. three, on, three on one. And it would actually help them in the long run as compared to the original canon. However, like the original canon, Piccolo would still lose his arm against Raditz during the encounter. As well, Gohan having a fit of rage seeing Goku being pinned down and knocked down by Raditz would still rage out and tackle Raditz like the original. Krillin would also be a great aid as with his buff state being able to keep up with Goku, he would be, prove instrumental in holding off Raditz as Piccolo went off to charge the special beam cannon. However, it would then play out kind of like how Piccolo and Goku would have fared as they both tag team Raditz waiting for Piccolo to charge his attack. Amidst the skirmish, Krillin would ultimately fail as his stamina would start to give out and he would be knocked out by Raditz flinging him to the side with a double sundae sending him careening it far off as Goku like Cannon would have no choice but to put Raditz down in a full Nelson holding him tight as Piccolo charged the attack and like Cannon Piccolo would fire off his special beam cannon to take the life of not only Raditz but son Goku but before he fell Raditz would tell them heh I have two f allies stronger than me who will be coming in one year's time to avenge me Soon after, Bulma and Roshi would arrive, just as Piccolo would take off with Son Gohan, as Krillin, starting to get up, would stagger and try to get up, trying to go after Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo, no! However, it would prove fruitless as Piccolo had already taken off, and Krillin just stood there defeated, realizing he could have prevented Goku's death and the kidnapping of Son Gohan. Now he stood there. In reflection of the fight, realizing his stamina has cost him in this ordeal, he would turn to Roshi, fig figuring to ask him how can he improve the form even further to allow him to better maintain the stability of the form and not quit due to stamina. Roshi would look him dead in the eyes as he would solemnly nod, knowing there would have to be more training ahead. However, unbeknownst to them, Kami would soon, li soon after send for them as Yajirobe would come back to Kame House and inform them that they are wanted on the lookout to come train. For the one year time in order to prepare against the two Saiyans that would be invading their world. However, unlike the original, there would be a new addition to this team. Roshi would be coming up to this lookout. Although rather reluctant to do so, Roshi would realize Krillin would need better training and refinement in order to master the buff form. So he would have no choice but to come along with him to the lookout in order to train along the other sea fighters as well to aid the earth. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this, he would say, as they would soon depart for the lookout. However, this is where I'm going to be ending things for now for this part one. I hope you guys liked this part one, and I hope soon enough maybe I'll make a part two for this if Krillin got the buff form. You guys got to tell me what you think about it, if you guys would want a part two, and how do you think things will occur in the part two and the training arc. Catch you later. Oh, 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 oh,